Hey guys, it's Kralis and welcome back everybody to the next episode of Transport Fever. So just sit back, relax and enjoy the world of trucks, trains, airplanes, boats, ships, bicycles, uh, cars, uh, buses and a lot of other stuff. It's beautiful. So previously we did some stuff with the, with the rails and I screwed up so much I think. So I did some off camera tweaks just before this episode started and what I did, let me show you, I think this is the easiest way to go about it. Let me just bring up the train lines. Uh, where are your train lines? We have the line 7, we have 19, 21 and that one. So what I did, I tried to adjust them so every single train at this current stage has their own line and purpose just for the beginnings because otherwise Otherwise, we're gonna end up with a, like a huge, huge gridlock and it's gonna be bad. So what I did in some uh, locations, I put those, um, what are you gonna call them? Those uh, waypoint type of things, which you can find in the rated category. Yeah, the waypoint, it's just called the waypoint. And what this allows you is to, to put a train when you pick stations, you can put that as a train station type of thing. So it does prefer that route. And for the moment being, for the moment being, it seems to be working out perfectly fine. Every train has its own track, kinda-ish, you know, but uh, I don't know. And also, I did purify this little bend here, because previously it was going like that, and uh, you guys went totally mad about that in the comment section, so I was like, okay, need to tweak it. So now we did something like this. It's not perfect still, it's still a very, a very, very a sharp, very sharp bend down the train tracks over here but it looks so, so much better. And uh, it's not gonna be much more trains going this, or rails going this direction, I think. That's about it. It's gonna be like three in total, maybe four. We're just gonna see, okay? <laughs> but to start off this episode, um, we're gonna be fixing some stuff in today's episode and also expanding a little bit because what I noticed here, uh, also on you guys' feedback and whatnot, and let me see here, where does we have the, there we go, here they are. Like the, the wood type of facilities, which chop down wood, the production is very low. And that is mainly because they chop, they, they chop, 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 chop down wood. And they transport it to this, which creates the, the planks, right? But then the planks just die. This, this, is the, this is the point where planks come to die. Because there was nothing after this, there was nothing. So we need to kind of figure it out. And I found this location over here. <laughs> this is such a derp episode start. I found this location over here, which takes the wood at least and uh, makes uh, makes tools out of it. I doubt it's gonna make tools. I think you need, I think it's two planks and one steel to make one tool. I think that is how it works, but I'm, I'm not sure to be honest. We need to try that out. I haven't really, I haven't really got that. So that is some objective for today. And also we're gonna exchange those tracks here to the pedal builds because those are getting old school and they're really slow and they don't really care that much and they look really like don't get me wrong like i mean if this was like a war zone which it kind of is this would work out perfectly fine but it definitely looks like a track like a personnel carrier from world war ii or something hey there's congestions there's serious butt smelling people are colliding there's accidents ha happening all over the place and what I think we're gonna do to start off with is maybe squeeze down one of those bad boys, like the fright stations. And this is something you guys told me. If I hold down shift and press N and M, it actually gives us nicer angles. Because let go of shift. See? Hold down shift. And you can pinpoint the location of it much nicer. Thank you so much for that. Like, I should have known that, but I didn't. So I'm going to put one of those down somehow. I'm going to do it off camera just to save some time because this is this is serious business. And then we're going to take the tracks over the rail somehow in a bridge or something. And connect them up somewhere here, maybe even. Because what that means is that we can take uh, and have food transports over to Sioux Falls, Lowell, maybe even Lakewood, Patterson's over here. Yeah, because look at this bad boy over here. Like, I mean, there's some serious production over here. And we can even boost that, I think. But, uh, I mean, yeah, this is bad. Look at that. Look at the congestions here. I think we're going to start replacing the trucks. Because what can a truck carry? 19. And what, let me just see. What does the wagons or the, 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 the you call them train wagons, right? Uh, what do they carry? By trains and wagons. Let me just see here. A box trailer, for example. It's only 18. But then you have to keep in mind, you can have connected to a train and have like 10 of them if you wanted. After the train. 
so much more beneficial in the long, long run, I guess. Well, it's definitely not ideal, but it's some progress at least. So now we have this station. It is connected to this guy, so it picks up stuff from that guy. It goes up the ramp here in a nice little curvature. Might be too steep though, but uh, hopefully we can make it. And then it goes down in a nice bend. Like, <laughs> I mean, isn't that just pretty looking? How it just goes down in a very, very nice bend and then it's going to be continuing and connecting up here somewhere. Also, since I got two tracks on this, uh, this cargo terminal, we could take out another one going over here, over the road, here some about, and going into the city of Chesapeake, Chesapeake. That might not be too shabby, because then we could get rid of the, the Peterbilt's and then just have a train connection going here, somehow. Hmm. Well, that did sure cost a lot of money. I got 663k left, so it's a little bit crappy on the money front. But I did manage to squeeze down a station, a cargo terminal station, just in the middle of the city. And this is pretty neato, because it covers like a lot of shopping district over here. On the, on the west side. East side, I mean. West side is the best. East side is the best. So, it's a moment of truth. Like, I mean, the money is growing. If you just check the connection lines here, are we... Uh, that's not the one I wanted to go. I wanted to go to here. Um, yeah, it's it's a little tough when it comes to the passenger trains. They're losing a lot of money, but uh, we still haven't really adjusted it yet. So if I speed up the game, it might adjust itself and it's going to be like super income. But uh, we don't just don't know yet. But I like it. It just goes through this canyon a little bit. So that did cost a little money, but uh, it just cuts so nicely through it. Like, look at it. Oh, that's pretty. That is awesome. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to poop down. Let me just see here. So we have this little bend. So what if hmm, goes down here? Let's just do this. Let's put a rail connecting those two somehow. Is that even a thing? That is a thing. Okay, don't judge this. Because what I'm thinking, since we can put down a depot. Depot, depot. Is it depot or depot? And now that I know how to turn it nicely, I can just turn it nicely and just, just put it nicely just next to this somehow. Let me see here, about here. Like a glove! Look how beautiful that looks! This game is starting to grow on me. I told you, I told you guys in episode 1 that we were going to do like 10 episodes just to try it out and see what people think about it. But, uh, well, this is episode 6. So far, so good. So the trains we buy are gonna come out here, then go over here, the cargo trains, that is. They can load it up, and then they're gonna switch tracks in case and go that direction. But the cheapest train for us at this stage who pulls the wagon, wagon, uh, the box wagons? Let me see, locomotives. 11 millions, 5.5, 3.2, 7, 6, holy crap, it's so, so expensive. Like, we're past the diesel engines. We should maybe just scrap up money to buy some of those guys, the EMD AE7s. I'm gonna do that, and how much a box, uh, how much does a box card or a wagon cost? 1.2 million. That is, that is a lot of money to be required here. But, uh, let's speed it up. And hope for the best, I guess. Hopefully we're gonna earn some money. Yeah, this is a great idea. And by the way, I did upgrade this road here to the like, little wider one. That looks pretty neat. Even though, even though um, this jump here might be a little bit iffy. But it seems to be working out in full speed. Did it even, did it even lift, bro? Did it even like lift off the ground? Nah, they just... Dude. They just stopped. Oh no, stuff is breaking down. Let me just go here. That is a bus route, right? So replacements, set vehicles, set to the GM fishbowl for now. And uh, where's this line? There we go. And auto replace. There we go. That is on line 13. So let's do the same. Replacements, set vehicle, GM fishbowl. Nope, that's not definitely not GM Fishbowl. That is a Peterbilt. I think, right? Yes, it is. So, bam, and auto replace. Perfect. So, those guys should be fine now. 
And also, I've been thinking, like, we are making money, don't get me wrong. Like, we're making, last year we made 4 million after the, after I speed up the game. So, money is coming in. It's coming in slowly. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some loans. And don't worry, guys, we got this. I'm going to loan us up to a lot of cash. Maybe, like, 20-something. Eh, you know what? Loan, <laughs> 45 million. We can afford this, don't worry about it. And we're going to buy some trains. And we're going to buy those, I guess. Let's just not speed up the game anymore um, should we buy those from 1975 I, I like this guy over here so top speed is 201 kilometers per hour weight 92 tons power blah 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 yeah they got so much more power as well i don't know what i don't know what the attractive effort is is that how much it can pull yeah i'm wondering like i mean hmm hmm Let's go with let's go with those. Might be like the, the 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 worst choice ever, but let's buy one of those to try it out first of all. And to that, we're also gonna buy some of those box cars because they can carry food and goods. Yes, they can. So buy one, two, three, four to begin with. That's like four, five millions. And what we're gonna do with this guy? We're gonna take it new line. We're gonna make a beautiful color of pink, and we're gonna put it from this guy, which is the Escondido something to this to Lord Chesapeake and let's take a peek at this bad boy it looks more European it's definitely not American maybe it is American who knows I definitely don't but it looks really nice it just feels like it had so much power and everything, but is it is it made for it's electric at least, right? Provided maximum power without wheel slip. So it's gotta be good, but that might be that might be something we carry like passenger wagons. Hmm. We just don't know. But at least this guy is up and running over here. So now is the question: will you change the tracks or will we just be like no path. Oh, it's loading up already. So it's loading up on food, and now is the question. Will you? Will you do this? Will you change the tracks? Yes, you will, sorry. And from this point on, this line should be just going. It is not going. It does go here. I don't want to do that. So what if I would... I guess what we could do is just put one of those stop things just to force it go this direction and if I remove just a picky add station this one here and then just a picky that means might not be like how you do it but now it just goes nicely on this track without any any biggie it's coming it's coming back <laughs> it's like what how did you manage to reverse? You're beautiful. Okay, so it's coming back. Uh, why does it change? I don't get it. If we take a peek at this line once again, it should just be going there. It should not be turning. I guess hmm, it's a thing. We could delete it now, I guess. Uh, not needed. It. It's going to be stuck here forever, just going back and forth. So that is one of them, at least. We're going to see if that is going to make us money, because we really definitely need that now. We're losing a lot of cash. The cash flow is not as bueno anymore. And also, we're going to connect those rails on this side. So them just your high-speed tracks. We're going to be going nicely around the same perimeter and going into that guy, I guess. Then we do have a fourth one. Ay, 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 caramba, that might be a fourth one. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Although I would... Uh, let me see here. Is there any anything that way? Not much besides this farm, which might be beneficial for us because we can also transport that. Are you kidding? Stop it! I just bought the most expensive train ever, and now a new one is, is released. Let me just see here. What is this new train all about? It's this one. It looks beautiful. 
but this diesel electric locomotive built by GE Transportation, distinguished from the Dash 840C by the addition of wide and safety cab. What the crap? And it's 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 not as expensive any as I either. What would Kiralis do? Uh, he would sell this and buy two of those instead. Question is, will I lose money on this on this deal? Because if I sell that, yeah, I'm gonna lose a lot of I wouldn't lose a lot of money. So let's just not waste the money, I guess. But that kind of sucks. It's just gonna release straight after I bought that one. But uh, I guess that is that is the thing with everything in this world. Like you know, you buy a new TV and you just wait because you're like, yeah, should I buy this TV? Should I buy this? And then you buy a TV and it's like a new one is released just straight after. And you're like, crap! Now I'm sitting here with this old TV. But it's like you know, otherwise you're just gonna be waiting forever. So yeah, this farm is definitely gonna be included somehow in the later stage. So let me just take it like this. But then again, the farm would not be going on this rail now, would it? It would connect to that somehow. But we can also connect them somehow in a later stage. This is just for the moment. Where is the, the mountain? So if we just pinpoint it just about here, can I take you down? Well, that's not really that good now, is it? Is the curvature nice? Everybody enjoying it? Yes. Poop it down. Perfect. And then we're also going to connect those somehow. Is that going to be a thing? Oh, this is going to be such a beautiful little train track we go. Like, I mean, this is like, I guess it's not a turnpike, but it's, there is definitely some hot train action going on here. Um, yeah, this game. It's definitely like when it comes to the train construction, like look how beautiful that looks. There's a lot of bends and whatnot, but it looks beautiful. Okay, focus, Kiralis, focus. So this goes out here now. So that means if I, this train track, if we could some here in the end, just take it to this, is this gonna be a thing? There's a little gap. Where is it? I could, could almost smell it. Yeah, this might look much nicer. Perfect, like that somehow. And then what we're gonna do is take this third line of, is this the third? This is the fourth one, holy crap. This might be too many, too many lines over here. Let's just keep that. Let's just keep it as it is, I guess, because we don't really have, wanna have four lines going this direction. And let's take this out instead. That's going to include not every single shop, but it's going to include quite a few of them. Holy crap, this music. I love it. At the same time, let me play something else. Let me just play, which is my favorite one. I think it's Leave. This is pretty chilled. And let me just rotate this bad boy in. So the main train station would be coming from this angle, I guess. Like this, for example. And then all the trailers will be passing by somehow. I don't really want to destroy like every single building here just to pop it down. That is the question. Could we? If I put it down here, I'm going to destroy one building. But hopefully this is going to be enough to cover the area. Let me see here. I make a little crossing. So that is connected. And now, and then, no, and then, and then we could. Are you straight? Let's see, if I take it to this for now, and then take it like this, then it can, can go down, because there's a bunch of city, like Hansville is, is over there, so we could have like a connection in the future to Hansville, but I don't like this whatsoever. This is for future expansions, I'm not going to touch it for the moment. There we go, let's just put them there so we don't forget about them, and for future expansions that's going to be it. But that means we should have a little connection over here, so we could... We could, if we would, we could bring some food to this region as well. Where is the little thing? There we go. So I got 15 millions. Uh, how is the income doing this year? We took some loans, right? So the loans, that kind of sucked a little bit. But um, so far is not going as bad. Like train line 21 here is really making some cash. 2.3 million. The rest is still losing. Like the new latest line is still in debt. 
but it's brand new. You have to envision that. And I'm going to buy one of these new trains just to check it out because it's much cheaper. 7.49 million. Lifespan about 50 years. I take it. Buy it. Wagons. We're going to have one, two, three, four, and five box cards on this one. And we're going to set a line. New line. It's going to be going from this guy. It's going to be a very pretty color of lime green type of thing. And now let's see here. If I would add... Which town is this? Lowell. If I would add this train station, which route is it going to pick to begin with? Let me just see here. Uh, disappeared. Very audio. Line... Which line was it? 23. So which line does it pick or track? It picks the outer one all the way. Besides here, which is totally understandable. Yeah, this is what I mean. It's going to interfere with the passenger trains. So what we could do here... <laughs> this is so awkward to record, by the way. Because this is like a thinking process which is out of this world for me. I'm not used to trains. I'm not a big train. What did I do? What did I do? This is wrong. This is wrong. I, I, wish, there was an, I wish there was an undo button. And that goes that. Perfect. This guy is on the route over here. And everything is just amazing. All right. Money situation. 3.41 million. We're losing money. Don't worry. We've got this. we got this. Change. Check the lines now. Let's speed up the game a little bit. And let's AFK just to see how we're going to do next year. Which is 1990. Oh, baby. Well, we're making some progress. Like, this guy is growing. The production on this, as you can see, line 22 is in full production, full swing. So that's getting more goods than line 23, which is a brand new line. Money income is, is on the other hand, growing on us. So 1990, last year we made 5.2 millions. We are getting there. It's time to maybe repay a little bit of the loans because we need to get rid of that totally. And that's going to take a while, but we are going to make it. Yeah, this is this is quite frankly pretty pretty amazing. Let me just turn off all those those for now. There we go. And what I did, did I show you guys that we unlocked a new boat? We didn't unlock new boat. I'm not gonna buy it, I guess, but we did unlock this that the Merlin from 1990s. It produces or it transports logs, livestock, coal, everything which is pretty amazing. It's got a capacity of 250. And it only costs 2.26 millions. That's like cheap like butter. But the cool thing, did I show you guys that we unlocked a new bus? Yes, you heard me. Let me just show you guys the bus. Uh, okay, I turned off everything. So it's really hard to find the stuff now. Um, damn, this has grown quite a bit. It's not this one. Okay, let's turn it on. Holy crap, there it is. The cities have been expanding here without my knowledge. Now I found it. There we go. So I, buy it, but I find, got a new bus, which is a new Flyer D40. 15 passengers, but it's beautiful and it's brand new. So what we should do is actually like while that is doing stuff over over there, we should pick our bus routes. Oh my god, so many tracks on those, but they're making fantastic income. Like for example, like line four. So let's just get out of this the noise. So replacements for this, for example, should be the new flyer instead. So every single bus line we get going here is going to be replaced with the, with the new buses when, when they run out of, of business. Holy crap! Congestion paradise! Okay, 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 okay. Calm your titties, everybody. Calm your titties. We can do this. We can make those bigger rows at least for a little stretch here. Hmm. I guess we could go all the way here just for the moment and obviously we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tweak this later on and yeah, that collides with something so we can't even uh, expand that but it's gonna give us a little more swing room and i have no idea what what this bend is here for but it's been here since the beginning stages of the game so i oh my god look at that the skyscrapers popping up but i think which city is the biggest city chisapiki is growing as well it's growing quite rapidly. 
I am pretty happy about this. I am pretty happy so far. How much goods do you have? Seven. Seven of food. Airbus A320. Oh my, oh my. And a new train, the GEE 60C-2. What the what? Not dash, yes, a dash. Okay, so that means like trains are unlocking like there was no tomorrow. Locomotives, what is this new guy about? 10 millions. He's got a traction of F4 by 300. I don't know what that is. KN, what is KN? I just don't know. I mean, he's got a lot of power. He's got a lot of top speed. <laughs> 160 to be precise. Okay, so the stuff is unlocking in the Airbus. That is something we might get into the next episode. Just an airport, just to check it out. We're also going to include these farms instead of the trucks. We're going to maybe have... Because you can see, like, the trucks are doing a fantastic job, but... It's getting to that point where this is producing quite a lot. Like, I mean, with the production, this is 800. It's going up and up and up and up. But, uh... Okay, so that is done, that is done, that is done. Let it just be for now, let it just sink in. Money situation, we're still losing money this year, but it's only February. Last year we made a little bit of money. Only one million, but that is mainly because I repaid the loans. Um, and that's what happened. But hey, 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 let's just focus on this a little bit for a moment. A brief moment. So if I pick deadline 15, I'm gonna do the replacement on this. I'm gonna pick the pitter builds. So I'll replace those. They can be here for now. I don't mind them whatsoever, uh, but but in the long run, they're going to be replaced by the pedal builds. This should be the line number 16. I'm going to do the same here. So set, vehicle, pedal builds, bam, bada boom, yes. What, what happens, by the way, with those? What do you think happens? Like, when they get old and getting replaced, are they sold by default by the company? Or how does this even work? Why can't I find? Have I disabled that again? Yes, I have. Um, what happens? Or do they just stack up here in the depots? I think what it is is that it dis they disappear. They disappear into the abyss and they get sold or something. But now let's just focus on this. This is the city of Orange and everybody loves their oranges, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to take this road. It's not going to be a fantastic big road, but it's going to be a road and we're going to make it. So it goes nicely in a little bend shape around the mountain. Around the mountain, because we don't really want to waste that money. Yeah, we're going to make it purdier. And it's going to connect to this facility over here. And I'm going to transport the planks at least. So we got a little step, step uh, at least from this little production line going. Something like this. I quite li I like that road. It's a very straight and purdy. So what I'm going to do, I'm also going to build a little depot over here. And that is going to be for Z trucks. So let's see your depots or not. A little thing here. A truck station. And um, to start off with, I think what we should do is maybe build the, the big one. Because this is going to be heavily used in the future. Like in the near future. So if I build shifts, rotate it nicely here somehow. Let me see here. Zuh. Let's put it put it a little bit away from the road, just in case we want to expand the road, like this, for example. Perfect. So now is the question. We also do. Do we have a depot? We have a depot over here. Buy road vehicles. We're gonna buy one, two, three, four, and five Peter Bills to begin with, and set line to a new one. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pick up planks here in orange branch, and we're gonna make it a color which is uh, like uh, yellow. Because that's how we roll. So planks from there. All the way to a station. To here. So they should be going back and forth. Back and forth. And uh, I guess we could expand those roads for the, for the citizens. Is it the, the, this one? Is it this one? Yes it is. Perfect. Just to make it look nice. Because otherwise they're going to build roads on by themselves. And it's going to be like all crooked and strange looking. So... Well, this is crooked and strange, I guess, but, uh, well, it doesn't matter. And I'm losing so much money now. Let me just take some of the loans. Don't worry, everybody. Don't worry. When everything is in full effect, which, oh yeah, we just bought like five tracks of the Peterbilt brand. So that should be working. Don't worry, it's not really doing much now. 
But that means... Well, it's a congestion already over here. They sure are humongous, those tracks. Don't get triggered, by the way. So that means that production, if I speed this up now, the production on them is going to be on the rise. So now we have two on this one and zero on this one. So let's just hold it for a moment, because I think like if you don't take out the logs or planks from this one, those just stop producing. That is, that's what I think it is in the game. Speed it up and let's wait and see what happens. Okay, look at this. Production 24, production 24. And it's, it's steadily going up as well. Production 60 on this guy. So it is like that. Like if you don't take out stuff from the, the, the producing thing here, it just stops working. So the next step is like now they're transporting the, the, the planks to this guy, which is starting to produce stuff. I see the production is 26 here. I don't really see any goods on, on the thing here, though. Do you bring back goods or something? You don't, really. Hmm. So I, I guess maybe it's planks and then you need steel to actually produce the goods? I'm not sure how it works, because I can't see anything they're popping up here. Might take some time, though. So we are earning money, believe it or not. We have 11 millions. I can totally repay tons of loans now just because we can't, we're going to say goodbyes in this episode. And, uh, well, 31 millions in loan deals, but uh, we're going to take that down. It was just because I didn't want the AFK and earn that, the big bucks. But anywho, and by the way, orange. I mean, shouldn't the, shouldn't the line be orange instead of yellow? It just feels more right because it's called orange. There we go. The orange line is now orange. 98. See, this is what I mean. This is what we need to do. 36. 36. So that is producing. Everything is incredible. But we also need to focus on uh, the oil production. And one thing which I've been thinking about is where are your ferries? Is this the ferry? Not as the oil ship. 2 out of 20. See, this is what I it just doesn't produce. So we need to get some oil from this facility. Or from this facility to that with some grain and combine that so we get the next step going but i'm looking for the boats not the hovercrafts they're amazing like by the way pause are they even working like do i have 15 out of 15 15 out of 15 so that is not too shabby because what i've been thinking about is the boat lines we got let me just see plays the game uh this one over here I don't think it's made a profit, line 14, since the beginning stages of anything, finances, see? It's losing money year after year, it's been doing this since the beginning. I just don't think it's, it's a wise choice to keep it. Go to depot, and go to depot. Go to depot. Hopefully you're going to depot. You're going to depot, right? There we go. Go to depot. Unable to find path. Okay, you're only in depot. But that's amazing. And you go to depot. So what we're going to do, instead of having them, maybe we should replace them with hovercrafts. Or hovercrafts. Uh, <laughs> looks like the ship is a little bit stuck in here. But how much does that cost? 564k. It doesn't carry much passengers, but I think it's going to be beneficial as hell. Because they're not doing nothing, those 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 here, the Graf Zeppelins. <gasps> what a Freightliner! Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that little jump here is going to scratch up one or two, two tracks. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And I love how they kind of like, they drift with their trailers inside of those little things. That's much wow, much realism going on here. But aren't they beautiful? Game changer. Yeah, that is most definitely beautiful. How is this guy doing now over here? Is it popping out stuff? Nope. Production is 36, so production is going up, but I can't see any goods being de deployed here. And they are not carrying anything back either. So, hmm. well, time will tell. Time will tell. But I think we need the next production line, which is the steel. 
But next April, we're going to start at airports. I think if we can afford that, we're still making, making money. It's February. Last year, we made 10.6, and that is with lows. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty decent. In Depot. Okay. Let me let me see. Can I sell you now? Yes, I can. Sell. You. Sell. How much? 211k. That's like nothing. And the, and the other one I think is heading for Depot. Yeah, I think it's not beneficial for us to have them. I think we should replace them with Hoovercrafts. Because even though they only carry 15 passengers, they're so much faster in, the, in this current stage. Even an airplane would do better, to be honest. <laughs> but we're going to see. But... Oh my, oh my. All those people. There's 93 people waiting for line 21. Well, aren't I the popular one? Holy crap. This is 21. How many passengers are we unloading here? 68. And we're loading up 94. This is the money makers. It's carrying people. That is what does it. Everybody, thank you so, so much for watching. What I'm most proud about in this episode is those little train intersections. Bendy as hell, but they look so beautiful. Possibilities in this game. Possibilities. Everybody. See you guys in the next one. If you did enjoy this, make sure to hit the like button. And I'm Corrales. And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of Transport Fever. Have a very nice day. And bye-bye.